This is 457 Fuller Road in Herman. It's a four bedroom, three bath colonial. It's a two car garage. Has a paved driveway, which sits back off the road, which gives a nice amount of privacy. See up there is actually the road. Huge front lawn. It actually has a back lawn as well. There's one other house that shares this driveway, which is back there. Again, two car garage, oversized as it has the side door. Plus there's a walk up attic. So it is really good shape. As you can see here is a concrete patio as well. That's a little unusual with these houses because that costs more money to do concrete instead of just doing wood. But it's a nice addition. You walk into the house. House has direct entry with the garage. It's also a door to the back yard there, which is nice. And you'll see it has a full set of stairs which go up to the attic. Kind of nice because if you're going to use it for storage, you don't have to try to pull down a, a ladder or that type of thing. As you can see currently, there's some stuff stored up there. The uh, owner has mostly moved out of this one. They've still got a skeleton of stuff because the husband is still um, staying here for the next week. You walk right into the dining room. They have the breakfast bar, which is nice. You can have bar stools. The backyard, you can see here. If I can get the door open. got a screen door on the back which is nice then you notice it has a big back section here they had previously had had a pool here that'll grass in and then they've got a nice private backyard back here you can next to see where the well is and then they've got a fire pit as you can see right there again some a little flower bed there nice private And back out. There we go. Got the zoom a little too much, I guess. There we go. Okay. There is a coat closet right as you come in the door here, which is nice because it lets you hang coats and that such stuff up. <clears throat> Kitchen is really good size, it's got stainless appliances. Actually, dishwasher um, was just done. Still has a foam on it. <laughs> um, good size living room. We'll go over to this side first. This has an office and a bedroom on the first floor, or potentially could be used as like a master suite. Big room here. Has its own bathroom which is a full bath. Has a linen closet over in the corner as well. There is a side entry. And then this bedroom is good size. We'll do a king size bed. Um, also has a big closet. Because it's new construction, it's got all newer windows, energy efficient. We'll go downstairs as well. Big basement, full basement, which is the norm here. Again, gives a lot of storage if somebody needs it. If you don't, then it doesn't matter a lot, but it does give a ton of storage. Some people will use this for exercise area. That's a boxing bag. Um, they do have a well McLean Gold heating system, which is uh, energy efficient. Also have a boiler mate so that you can take like two showers at once without running out of hot water. That's an addition, which is an additional expense when people build houses. So sometimes they don't do the boiler mate because it costs money, but they did. And then you notice here, they've got an entrance, which goes right out to the garage. So if you want to bring something right into the basement, you just bring it down. You don't have to track it through the house if you don't want to.
Good amount of ca cabinet space, obviously. And of course, it does have water and ice in the fridge as well. There is a little bit of an entry here for the front, which I know a lot of people don't use this, but if you're entertaining or that kind of thing, there's also a coat closet over there. As you go upstairs, there's three more bedrooms plus a laundry room. And the bedrooms are all really big. A lot of times with these colonials, you'll have a big master and then a, a second good sized room. And then there'll be a small third. These are all really good size. Good size closets as well. So we were just in the second bedroom. This is the third bedroom. Good size. And then right off this hallway where the two bedrooms are, there's another full bath. And then you've got a laundry room, which is kind of neat. You could technically, if you notice, there's a jack over here in the corner. The owner at one point had uh, an office in here as well. Uh, washer and dryer do come with it um, at the request of the current tenant. There is a little stain on the carpet there. The carpets have been cleaned. They couldn't get that stain out. Um, although the cleaning company that did the carpets is the same one that's going to come through and finish cleaning when the owner's done and they were going to try some other stuff on that but he wasn't sure it's um the owner was said it was a tide that got spilled there so but everything else came nicely out of the carpets there's a, a linen closet here too and then big bedroom here this is what was originally the master for the property big bedroom easily do a king size bed and has its own bathroom and two nice closets. So depending on what level you want to be on, if you want to be on a first floor, then you have the downstairs you could use as a master. Or if you want to be on the same level, you could be up here. And notice it has a little walk-in closet as well here, which is kind of nice. So lots of closet space. And then it does have its own bathroom. So notice it's got double bowl sink and a big, technically they call two person shower, but just an oversized shower, which is all fiberglass, which is nice. And that is 457 Fuller Road, finished with the master bedroom. Again, ceiling fan as well. If there's questions, let us know. Hopefully it helps as far as planning furniture and et cetera. Thank you.